tonight. We're taking a closer look at the rise in violent crime. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live at Metro headquarters right now. Masa. Steve, the sheriff and some of his new policies, like the decentralization of the gang unit, gang crimes, it's under fire. The proof, you don't have to look any further than Facebook. This guy posting several times, need new sheriff. We took your concerns straight to 13 Action News crime and safety expert, retired Lieutenant Randy Sutton. Is the sheriff allocating resources properly? I, I don't know. I don't know if the, I don't know if the, if the, I don't know what he's doing. I don't understand. If what you're doing isn't working, you got to do something else. That's the bottom. That's the bottom line. Sheriff Joe Lombardo says there has been an increase in gang activity and gun violence. Defendants and victims are getting younger, but it's a national problem. He says it's the increase is not due to his policies. He points to the depopulation of the prison systems and an understaffed police department here in Las Vegas. Today, the district attorney announced changes, plans to beef up the gun crimes unit, while attorneys in his office educate young people about the consequences of crime. Sutton says that's exactly what law enforcement should be doing, in particular, paying attention to officers on the streets. Metro has a tremendous amount of really good police officers. The police departments around the country have to understand that those resources, those cops on the street, need to be listened to. And the sheriff has vigorously defended his policies, saying they are well-researched. He also wants the public to know that he has not gotten rid of the gang unit, he says. He has simply changed the way that they are deployed. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.